our mobile devices, especially our phones. We have, and now doctors are seeing what that connection is doing to our health. KMBC 9's Kelly Ackerman is talking to experts about the long-term consequences of spending all that time looking down at your phone. And this has become a real medical condition in the last few years. And while you might not know the name, you likely recognize the pain. It's called tech neck. Just think how often you find yourself doing this. Head hunched over, looking at your cell phone. Every day, all day. <laughs> you might end up with a stiff neck or some pain. I feel like I get tightness in my shoulders, which will sometimes like cause like a headache. Or something even worse. If you go down all the way down to about a 60 degree uh, rotation to look down at your mobile device, that's about 60 pounds of weight on your neck. So that's like carrying an eight-year-old child around your neck. Dr. Syed is division chief of pain medicine with University of Kansas Health System. While he's already seeing a growing number of cases of what's being called tech neck, the real concern is with the next generation. If you look at the average teenager right now, they're spending over seven hours a day on their mobile device. When you look at that over a year, that's over 2,000 hours a year looking at their looking at their mobile device. Over time, if this pressure causes chronic changes, degenerative changes in the disc, we can see more issues into the spinal cord and in the nerve roots, we can cause more serious problems down the line. The pain can be treated with physical therapy, injections, and more advanced procedures. Doctors say if you're dealing with tech neck, the best plan though is prevention. That means reducing screen time, maintaining good posture while glued to that phone, and regular exercises to strengthen neck muscles. And this is something you should talk to your children about. What we're trying to keep a closer eye on is the younger generation of folks that really don't have any neck problems. And will this text neck phenomenon actually cause chronic issues down the road? And it's not just neck problems that doctors are seeing more of. There's also a condition being called texting thumb. It's a pain caused when tendons in the thumb become inflamed from overuse. So doctors say they can treat the inflammation, but that the best prevention really is reducing the time you spend texting or maybe utilizing that voice to text feature on your phone. Again, it's a fairly new phenomenon, but it is growing and the pain is real. Laura.